guys and welcome to the fish room. I'm Rachel O'Leary and it's time for a species spotlight. Now I love fish for a lot of reasons. Beautiful colors, interesting behavior, interesting breeding strategy, or any number of reasons. But this week's fish I think is really neat because of the way it carries its eggs. Now Arisius woore or Daisy's rice fish is a really cool sort of shimmery blue and orange fish that comes from Sulawesi. And what's really cool about them is they spawn almost every day, as long as they're in a tank that has a lot of plants and you feed them well. So what's really cool about these guys is that, you know, they don't just scatter their eggs and go like so many of the fish I'm interested in. The female actually carries them around in like a modified basket made from her fins for like most of the morning before she'll deposit them on leaves and it's really pretty neat to see. I have some in a breeding tank over there and some in a display tank over here. So let's take a closer look and I'll show you more about them. Here we can see a male and two females. The male is the bluer one and he's got redder pectoral fins. You see that female is carrying eggs and they do that every day. They'll spawn and she'll carry the eggs around for a while before she deposits them on plant leaves. And I have these guys set up in a teeny tiny tank because I wanted to be able to show you that. I think it's a really cool behavior from this fish. really pretty neat. Now I've pulled a male out of my community tank to show you guys the difference because the one in my breeding tank just wasn't cooperating. You can see he's a bit blue or he's got that really pronounced red pectoral fins and throat. And these guys get about an inch and a quarter. They get about an inch and a quarter. They can take a range of temperature from 72 to 80. And as I showed you guys, the female carries those eggs and then she places them. And they take about a week, maybe two weeks to hatch. The adults don't really eat the eggs, but they will predate the fry, so it's best to remove them. And you can do that by using the yarn mops I've shown you guys, or plants, and then pulling them to deposit the eggs into a tank to hatch. All in all, these guys are just really neat. That, that egg carrying behavior is something that's really unique to these guys. So as you can see, that breeding tank doesn't look like much. It's just a little five gallon. I've got a bunch of narrow leaf java fern in there, duckweed, and a piece of driftwood. And the entire purpose is to be able to water change and feed these fish really regularly in order to encourage them to spawn, which is working. Now when I go to pool the eggs, I'll put the eggs into a similar tank. So now I want to know from you guys, which fish that you're breeding do you think is just really fascinating and why? Make sure you guys stop by my Facebook as well as my website, MsJinx.com, where you can find my upcoming speaking engagements, my current stock list, and information on all things now. As always, if you guys have any comments, suggestions, or questions, let me know below.